Hey guys, Ray Carmen coming to you here from Namrock Farms. I hope you're having a fantastic day. As you can see, I'm again here with my sheep. I've just brought them some hay, so they're all enjoying the feast that's been put before them. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to follow up with you a little bit today on that knucklehead story we did on Monday. Because again, I relate so much to that knucklehead. Uh, when I first got into sheep, I went all in. And I had a guy who was a partner of mine, and we got 120 sheep. We brought them to my farm, and... And I had them out on a big space of land, and I thought, boy, I need some help bringing these sheep in because they kind of had come off the plains of Texas. They weren't used to just coming when you called. And so I went out and found me a border collie. Yeah, you know one of those dogs that help you herd in your sheep. And Well, Ben was partially trained. He wasn't all the way trained, but he kind of had an idea of what he was doing. But I brought him in, and part of my responsibility was I had to train that dog to do what I wanted him to do. So the way to do that was to call my sheep in, get them in a pen, two or three at a time and work with him come by away to me down boy you know and, and all the things that you do with a border collie and I was fresh at it I was new at it so what I did was I'd bring the sheep in and I would do that training well I had a knucklehead of that 120 I had this one that just did not want to be near me uh, she was standoffish she was afraid and it was understandable she came off the plains of Texas a human was kind of something new to her but during one of my process, one of those days, my method of who I was going to train with my border collie was I call them in to eat, and the last three or four that were in the pen eating, that's why I closed the gate, and that's who I used. On this particular day, guess who was one of the last ones in eating? That knucklehead. So I stood there in the corner of the pen, and I sent the dog, said, come by. And he went out there, and he brought those sheep, and he circled them up till they brought to me. I sent the sheep back out, come by, away to me, and he'd bring those sheep back into me. And about the third time I did that, I laid him down, told him good job, was congratulating him for doing such a th good thing. And I looked down, and on my leg, there was one of these sheep. It was leaning against me. And that sheep was the knucklehead. Yeah, th that very one that was afraid of me, all of a sudden was leaning on my leg. So I was surprised, and I thought, wow. So I reached down, and I petted her a little bit, and I said, hey, sweetheart, how are you doing? Then I turned them loose. And we went and did it again. Well, that time, she ran straight to my leg and leaned against it. And I petted her again. I turned them loose. I let the dog back off and the sheep went running. He went out to get them. By the third time, she didn't have any, any uh, anxiety at all. She ran straight to me because she knew at my feet there was safety. She knew when she was next to my leg, that dog was not going to bother her, was not going to chase her. I formed an intimate relationship with that sheep and I called her sweetheart. And we enjoyed fellowship with one another. Now you may be asking, what's the lesson? What's the point? Maybe sometimes in our life, those people who frustrate us, those people, those situations that are just, ugh, can't stand it. Maybe, just maybe, it's the good shepherd has sent those out behind us to draw us in close to him. That way we can lean against his leg and he can reach down and call us, sweetheart. Y'all go have a good day and enjoy the shepherd. I'll talk to you soon.